Hi there mates, our KB Action here again. Welcome to video number two in the dry fire training series. Now in this video, we are going to cover the grip. Uh, we're going to see why it's important, some key components of the grip, and we'll do a couple of uh, grip training drills. So I'm um, excited for this one, so stay tuned and we'll get into it. Alright mate, so um, let's get stuck into to this week's video. Before we get into it, um, if you're new to the channel, thank you very much for clicking on it. If you're new to the channel, sharing my ideas and my new support and my journey to the video. So uh, disclosure, remember I am framework and uh, all points of contact are correct so you've got a nice strong purchase nice strong grip and you go straight and drive that out straight on the part target and I think the third reason is it's good to use you hitting the shot so that big core management as we always say and you don't have that strong grip that uh, you're flipping up with the Back, so you want to be underneath that, making sure that your your hand doesn't go uh, interfere with that slide. All right, so as high as you can from here, your three fingers will wrap around underneath the the handle, and your index finger will go on top of um or beside actually of the pistol. There, you don't want to go on the trigger or in front of the trigger guard or on the bottom. You want it just nice and straight here to be off the trigger. Now I'm going to spin around from here. Your second hand, okay. You want to get maximum contact on the pistol because, like you said. With, our, uh, with the grip, you want to make sure that we've got maximum contact with our hand so we can control that um, that recoil and that pistol. So from here, our palm of our hand, we want to put on that space. 
Okay, from there, our thumb will go on the side of the uh, the pistol on the other side, and our four fingers underneath will just wrap around. Okay, nice and comfortable. Okay, this way. So that's what it looks like. All right. So from this side here and the other side. All right. So you can see my two fingers here, my two thumbs here on the side. Um, just below the slide so the slide can move uh, freely and fingers don't get in the road but I've got maximum contact here all right so from here we're driving it out this way all right so looking at that pistol grip there on all angles all right so so initially it's gonna feel a little bit weird okay I've got small hands so the grips a little bit so I've got to manipulate my hand and make sure that I'm uh, comfortable but generally that's where you want your hands to be so we'll just go through that again very quickly, at the very top of your wedge of your hand, and your dominant hand up as high as you can on the beaver tail, three fingers wrap around, index finger or trigger finger on the side of the uh, the pistol, spinning around your other hand, okay, maximum contact with your palm on the side uh, of the handle, your thumbs, okay, just below the slide, so we're not uh, contacting that slide, and your four fingers will wrap underneath this way, okay, so looking at it at all angles, that's the kind of grip we want so from here okay so we've got our hand here uh, like I said now as we drive out we'll cover slightly on the frame okay what our arms are doing okay now I had did some research with um, with the grip now I did find one that was that suited me and they call it the uh, torque or the torque um, technique so what it basically means is this hand my left hand is going to turn in and then my dominant hand is going to turn in as well so we're using physics uh, to get that nice strong grip rather than strength okay with my hands so there's a firm grip with my fingers underneath you want to try and relax your trigger finger as much as you can because that's the finger you want to move if you keep that straight or tight it's going to be hard and very very um, um uh, it's going to affect that recoil and the control of the muzzle so you want to try and relax that trigger finger as much as you can but underneath just firm grip with your hands okay and like i said as you're driving it out with your left hand you're turning in with your right hand you're turning in okay and so what you're creating is a little bit of torque or a bit of tension on itself okay going down this way and as you can see it's not really um, taking up too much um, of my energy it's just physically or naturally just creating that nice strong grip okay so we'll go from the front here so again my left hand turning in my right hand turning in with all that grip is in check okay here and it looks like this so look here and we're turning in okay hands slightly uh, bent we don't want them to be straight and we certainly don't want them to be bent uh, too bent but slightly bent okay and turning in all right everything locked in that way okay so that's uh, what's comfortable for me like I said um, when you first get your hand around the, uh, the, the pistol my hands are a little bit small so um, this is a little bit big uh, so you just got to manipulate or just reposition and just find a nice comfortable um, I guess location for those hands but generally it's all it's all the same uh, with that grip wrapping those fingers around thumbs uh, just below the slide and trigger finger just below the slide as well all right okay well uh, we'll get into now um, just a couple of the drills to help you get that um, grip straight away first time okay so let's uh, have a look at maybe one or two drills that I've been doing uh, to help me with my grip um, or getting my grip correct. Now, with your grip, um, like I said, with Action Pistol, uh, we work from the host, so we have it from the host, so we have to be able to be proficient and get it right <coughs> um, all the time to grab out of our holster and then driving out straight onto that target. Now, when you do that, uh, to a degree, it is speed shooting. Not speed shooting, but you do have a time frame to, um, to knock all the targets down uh, within a certain time frame. So you have to make sure that everything is right uh, to get those shots off. Um, if you have to muck around changing your grip, or if it's not feeling right, or if it's not tight enough, you're gonna, the recoil is going to affect that follow-up shot. So, um, so this is what's important with the grip, is to make sure it's all nice and firm so we can get onto that uh, pistol first time, uh, every time, and then get these follow-up shots uh, consistent and proficient and uh, on target uh, as quick as we can. All right, so we'll get into it. So again, uh, pistol, uh, the same from last, uh, slides locked back, no magazine, uh, nothing down the chamber, so it's uh, it's all clear. All right, so from here, what you wanna do is maybe just grab your pistol down and just hands down, you can go any position here, um, just hands down, and then when you're ready, just go up. This is assuming you don't have a holster, okay? Uh, obviously, pick it up with your left hand, get onto that trigger as 
fast as you can with that handle, sorry. Uh, getting everything right first hand underneath, up as high as you can, fingers around, finger on top of the, uh, just below the slide. Other hand, fingers wrapped around, maximum contact, thumbs underneath that slide, okay, and driving it out. All right, that torque technique we talked about, so it's turning in with one hand, turning in with the other hand, so you're creating that, um, that natural uh, tension uh, on itself. Um, slightly bent, hold there for maybe three or four seconds. The longer the better because then it will help get into our muscle memory and then just drop it back down. Okay, so from here, talking it in is a lot more, uh, it's a lot, a lot less stress on those or pressure on those fingers trying to grip. Okay, like I said, it's naturally creating that tension that we want. So all I'm doing is firm grip uh, with my fingers. All right, so again, same thing. So pick that pistol up, get onto that uh, handle, uh, get everything in and pushing it out this way. Okay, that torque in, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Okay, so we're doing this, we'll do it one more time. Uh, you can even make it more challenging, you can have your hands here, hands here. For those guys uh, in competitive pistol already from Surrender, action pistol maybe sometimes this way, but hands up. And same thing, grab that pistol underneath, get those hands around. Okay, hold here, up to six seconds. You can see me shaking a little bit, and then coming down. All right, so what we're doing here is just getting that muscle memory, uh, getting the body feeling where that hand needs to be, both hands, and getting that torque um, coming in and developing, I guess, that strength um, that you need in your shoulders to get that torque going on. And also, uh, you saw me before when I was holding, I was shaking a little tiny bit. All right, so uh, you want to try and hold it, you know, up to six, seven seconds, the longer the better. Um, in my sports training, what we train if it's related with time, we train over the time frame. So for example, if it's uh, if it takes six seconds, seven seconds um, to do the shots, I'd go for 10 seconds. So have those extra couple of seconds over to get that muscle strength and muscle memory going on. All right, one last time. So again, you can have a little bit of fun with this. Hands here, hands wherever you want them on your shoulders, wherever you want. Um, and then just grab that pistol, get that hand underneath, make sure everything's in, and then driving it out this way, okay? So you can see here, a little shake, but I'm comfortable the first time. I'm not moving my hand, okay? Uh, I'm, not I'm not uncomfortable in the grip. I've, I've got everything nice and, and firm, nice and comfortable, so I can uh, break those shots, okay? All right, so that's one drill um, that you can do. Now, obviously, if you have a holster, you just do it from the holster position, okay? From the holster position, maybe we'll get, um, we'll get into that once again, uh, holster certified. I'm very close, so once we get that, maybe we can do another video we're coming out of the holster, but um, you can do it from the holster. And uh, same thing, obviously that second hand doesn't do anything, um, I guess initially, but you come out, your fingers will come up straight away up underneath that, the way the holster is designed. Uh, grab it, get that grip on, and then driving it out. And again, same deal, about five to six seconds here. And dropping it down. All right, so that's one drill. Uh, if you're new, um, that you could use to get used to that grip strength, uh, oh sorry, get used to that grip, getting it in the right position the first time and getting that strength in the shoulders, arms to keep it nice and steady for the follow-up shots. Alright guys, we'll, uh, we'll review. Alright mate, so that's my take on the grip, okay, so very important, probably the first thing that you need to start to learn and understand, um, especially with um, sports shooting, uh, very important to control that recoil management, if your grip isn't, uh, your grip isn't uh, firm or good enough, uh, that muzzle is going to flip and move everywhere so those follow-up shots are going to be very delayed your time is going to suffer and you may not hit those shots um, in that time frame all right um, obviously uh, natural torque or natural pressure is uh, much better than stressing out those fingers and forearms and um, and arms and shoulders okay if you can get that torque technique happening where you're just turning in and creating tension uh, or that um, that firmness uh, naturally, and um, that's less effort for you, but you've got a nice, strong, firm grip there. All right, so uh, also that other drill, uh, that, uh, that one drill that we showed you, getting it off um, and into that grip as quick as you can, or not so much as quick as you can, um, nice and slow, because what happens is once your muscle memory and once your body understands where it needs to be, it's going to naturally speed up. Okay, that's just what happens naturally with your body. Once it's familiar with the movement, you, you'll naturally just speed up. So you'll find that you're getting onto that grip much faster and um, uh, very, very consistent and uh, being able to get that those uh, shots out fast and uh, and within your time. Okay, now guys, I would be interested to, to hear any, uh, any facts, any ideas, any concepts, especially from our experienced shooters um, on grip. 
um, newbies, any questions, I'll try and answer them. I hope I've taught you something as well, some uh, new drill, um, and hopefully you can uh, have a better understanding on the importance of grip. All right, next uh, next video we're going to be looking at stance. We didn't cover too much on our frame, but that will cover we'll cover that in our next video, meaning uh, or looking at the stance. So I think um, this grip and the stance are very very important, like strong fundamentals in controlling that uh, recoil, uh, so we can get those follow up shots down range um, and making sure everything is nice and firm. All right, guys. Uh, now, just before we go, if you haven't know, if you don't know already, we've got some merch out. I'll put the description down the bottom. We've got this. Uh, this is the competition shirt. Um, I'm working on a supporter shirt. We've got some cups, coffee cups, uh, coffee mugs, uh, and some stickers and some novelty shirts coming out. I'm working on a um, uh, some other shirts as well. So check it out. I'll leave the description or the link in the description. Uh, I'd appreciate your support. Um, now, if you see this shirt anywhere on the range, anywhere in the competition, or anywhere at all, um, come up, say hi. Um, I may have some merch with me. I'll be happy to um, to uh, to show my appreciation for your interest and you following, sharing my content uh, with some merch. All right, guys. Uh, so until next video, uh, shoot safe, check out sports shooting, and get on the trigger.